Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So let's talk about the one wheel pint and some of the basic, some essential, some just kind of there for aesthetics, upgrades and accessories you can get for your one wheel pint here. So I've actually had this pint in for quite a long time now, logged almost 200 miles so far. I'm just kind of a casual rider, but I gotta tell you, it is a ton of fun. I did a review on it probably, I don't know, six, seven months ago. And when I first got it, talked about how to learn how to ride on one of these, how easy is it to do as a person coming from a non-skateboarding background. And now I take this thing pretty much everywhere. I've taken on road trips to the beach, to the mountains, camping, you name it, um, going for mail runs, grabbing packages at the post office, wherever you want to take it. You have obviously a limited range. You get about nine miles on the charge on this one, going at about 15 miles per hour top speed which honestly is plenty because nose dive is definitely a thing on these and there are plenty of videos of wrecks to prove it. So not exactly a speedy device per se, but a lot of fun. And there's some accessories on the market you can get to kind of make it your own and also make it a little more functional. All right, so let's talk about these real quick. So functionality wise, something you pick up from one wheel right here, is the one wheel pint fender kit. I've had these for a while. In fact, I got this as a part of an essential bundle when I picked this up. Been riding this for about 200 miles now, just stock. I wanted to kind of get a feel for it, how to ride it, what it does, how it does it, and see if I really need to get any upgrades. So I got this essential bundle that kind of comes with the uh, pint as an accessory package you can get. And this right here comes with everything you need to put a fender on your pint, like so. So we'll talk about this. And this is going to allow you to ride in places a little more dirty, mud, sand, water, all that stuff, and keep all that stuff facing down from the board. Because I tell you, riding on any kind of dirt or gravel or mud or rain, expect to have all that splash coming right up onto your shoes and your legs. It's not terrible, but just a note, especially in mud, you're gonna have quite the day to clean off your legs there. Now, a couple of aesthetic things. So this is the gray pine, okay? You got gray on the sides here, right here, and then on the bumpers as well, kind of a black right here. So what you can do is you can pick up something for the bumpers. You have a front and a rear bumper. You get these bumper kits from one wheel. And all they are are colored pieces of plastic that replace your existing black bumpers that come stock on the pint. All right, they're just going to slide on just like that. And it does come with the hardware you need in here to get this done. So we'll do a quick install of all these as well. These are all stock OEM parts, but there is an insane aftermarket, especially for the XR. There's some crazy off-road rigs you can set up with the XR, which is the larger one wheel, but this is just kind of a basic pint, uh, just coming at some of the essentials for functionality, some aesthetics, make it your own. So I got red bumpers front and back. I got a black fender for the top, very functional. Going to be doing some cool videos using this, keep it a little more clean on the board, a little bit more safer, a little bit easier to ride through some more uh, intense terrain as it were. Lastly, you have these right here. These are side pieces right here. They're called rails, so they're side rails. They actually are not too fancy, actually, compared to the rest of the stuff that bolts on. These are just 3M stick-on. I don't even know if they're 3M, to be honest with you. Doesn't say on there. They're just stick-on with holes for the charging port, holes for the battery, or holes for the charging port, holes for the power button over here. And all they're going to do is legit just stick on. These are kind of like a uh, green sage color here. So green, red, black. I think it's look pretty cool. So let's get to installing these. And I think we'll start with the fender because this is the one I'm actually the most excited about. So let's get to it. So let's talk about the fender first. So fender comes from one wheel, little paper sleeve over it here and stapled on the underside here is some little instructions. All right, and then also some hardware and some new screws with some Loctite already on there, so that's nice to see. All right, so you simply tear off the old packaging here. 
There you go. And these do come in a variety of colors. Again, this is the black. All right. Take the provided key and you're going to unscrew the four screws that is on the, what they call the fender delete. So we'll do that right now. Sometimes a little stuck there. There you go. Now's a good time to clean off any debris and dirt in here if you can. Go in there, paper towel, clean off in there. Just kind of make it clean. There's always some kind of debris that gets stuck in these crevices here. Now that you have this area all clear of any debris, now you can take your Fender Pint logo facing rearward, slide it over, bring it down, and click it in. There are tabs on each side that click into slots on the board. And there you go, you got that set up like that. Take your new screws, drop them in the holes, and just kind of crank them down. I'm going a star pattern. And there you go. You got yourself a fender installed, ready to go. All right, so with your bumpers, you have a front bumper and a rear bumper. So here is the rear bumper. It's going to slide on like so. Here is the larger front bumper. So it's going to replace more than the rear. The rear actually has just a little piece of the bumper right here. Pretty scraped up, because that's kind of how you stop typically with the tail end down, but it's gonna keep the One Wheel California kind of logo right here. But the front one is going to replace this little pint logo and replace this whole front board here. Comes with hardware, new screws, instructions. So front bumper, you need to actually remove the front foot pad. Now in order to remove the front foot pad, you have two screws right here. And on the bottom here, you have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take the provided key. Loosen these up. All right, flip it over. I'm actually gonna put some down so I can slide around a lot. Remove these six screws right here. So be very careful on this next step. You want to flip it back over. All right, this foot pad is attached by a wire right here. So you're going to want to flip this up like so. And this old bumper actually will slide off. So we can do it on camera. There you go. Not too bad. I've seen it stuck pretty good on some other one wheels I've seen. It slides off like that. There's the old one. Here's the new one. Slide this back on like so. Get all the way down there. Flip your foot pad back if you want. You can probably take a towel and clean this up a little bit. Okay does come with all new screws. You can utilize those. Drop one at the top in. Cinch it down. Long ones go in the front here. Short ones up here. And back here. Once you got the six on the bottom tightened down and the two on the top, you're done with your front bumper. So we can work our way to the back here, which is a little bit easier. The back is a little bit heavier, it likes to lean backwards, hence why you ride it that way. But it does have a simple bumper up here with just four screws this time. I'll take your key. Maybe two long ones right here. And this rear bumper is just a one small piece here. There is a lip, now that you've unscrewed it right here. So you grab it and start working it out. 
Definitely a little tight. There you go. And again, you got all that dirt and debris in there. Old bumper, new bumper. So simply slide this one back on. Make sure she's lined up. Check those holes. You got a couple new long screws, a couple new short screws in there. And tighten them down. There you go. New rear bumper. New front bumper. Looks pretty nice. On to the side rails. Unlike the bumpers, unlike the fender, the side rails actually just stick on. So I would highly suggest wiping these down because what's gonna happen is you're going to basically replace these with one wheel stamp, pint stamp, like so. And one wheel back here. All right, and there's film and there's this adhesive on the back here. So you'll be able to get these looking nice and clean. These get scraped up and bumped up, especially when you're a first time rider. And they really just get kind of destroyed quite a bit for at least the cosmetics of it. I mean, they're definitely robust devices. People definitely shred the trails of these quite a bit, but it'd be good to just kind of refresh after you've learned to ride quite a bit. So take this part right here. And it's going to be a simple peel and stick. So you need to find that little red paper there. There you go. You're simply going to align it up as best you can and stick it on. And there's also a film right here. Very satisfying. There you go. All right, line it up nice and tight. Looks like it's a good, good cut, good fit. Oh yeah, this looks great. These are gonna be definitely destroyed after a while, but you know what the good news is? After it's all said and done, depending on how hard you ride these, you can always get more accessories on here or just go back to stock, which nothing wrong with stock. Flip it over, get this cleaned off a little bit with your rag. Look how tore up this is from just random falls and throwing the board from under your feet and things like that or just setting the board down so i don't know how long these will last but we definitely are going to look better add a little bit of color to the board get that charging port lined up get that screw lined up there nice and straight push it up here You can kind of move these around quite a bit before you set them and then just set them. They look great. There you go. Got yourself a little more of a customized board. Some new aesthetics, some new useful fender here. Ready to ride. Let's go test her out. this video up guys so we got a new fender very functional definitely seems to work well to repel dirt gravel mud water whatever is on the road seems to work really well the only thing i've noticed is it does make some really weird noises as things get caught up in there but it seems to spit it out just fine so no issues there just kind of be aware if you're riding through the mud wet water gravel terrain all that you might have some weird noises coming out of your tire that you don't really know normally hear other than that New bumpers, new side rails, more of a cosmetic thing, kind of clean up any of the bumps and bruises you got along the way. But when you started learning how to ride your one wheel, 
and these essential upgrades have worked really well so far. I'm very excited to have the Fender, especially if there's anything you've seen today, definitely get the Fender. I think that's a big one. It's gonna allow me to do cool things like ride on the beach and hit some more dirtier trails or ride through the rain a little bit more. So, well, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions at all about anything you've seen today in the video, hit them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. As always, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up, really helps me out. Head over to Instagram, follow me there, like us on Facebook for all the latest and greatest deals on the internet, and I'll see you guys in the next review.